Breakfast is everybody's favorite meal, right? No, nobody eats breakfast anymore. And nobody understands really what the importance of it is. And there's so much conflicting information out there, especially with what you see on the internet on is breakfast good for you? Should you do intermittent fasting? Should you eat breakfast at 6 a.m. when you wake up? Should you wait until noon to be a part of the intermittent fasting so you get into more of a ketosis stage? Really, there's a lot of different theories out there. And the problem is, is that there's so many different strategies that work differently for different body types, right? So I've talked about this before on what your body type is, whether you're a mesomorph, ectomorph, endomorph, and that plays a huge role with what your diet is going to look like and how your training program looks like. So one big thing with breakfast is I think that it's very important to eat the right foods, but also it has to fit into your lifestyle because if it doesn't fit into your lifestyle, you're not going to do it anyway. And then it doesn't even make a difference whether you're eating the perfect breakfast or the worst breakfast. If you're not doing it, it doesn't matter. So going back to my bodybuilding days, I used to eat eight eggs whites, two whole eggs, and it was like a huge bowl of oatmeal. It had to have been, I don't know, close to half a gallon. It was something crazy like that. But that breakfast is not conducive to my lifestyle at all. I'm the CEO of a, a pretty large company, and I need something that's going to be convenient for my lifestyle. So what I have to do is I have to make sacrifices and make healthier choices in the morning that still get food in my stomach, still give me the calories, the carbs, the proteins, and the fats that I need. But also I have to be able to eat it on the go, right? So I eat a lot of breakfast bars, a lot of protein bars, a lot of protein shakes. That's something that's reasonable that fits into my lifestyle, but also gives me the macronutrients and the calories that I need. You have to choose a breakfast that fits your lifestyle. That's the most important, but also fit your macronutrients and caloric intake that you need to give you energy for the day. You got to have both.